this is an exciting time for us uh, in Little Elm ISD. We have several projects going on. We have our plant services and transportation facility that we're working on this summer, you know, along with our STEM Academy that's happening down in the Tribute. And so uh, that's a science, technology, and engineering and math facility. We have our, also our two other academies at Lakeside Middle School, which will be our Arts and Humanities Academy. And then over, that's our existing PAL, which will be 6th through 8th grade, and currently it's 6th graders, but uh, starting in August, it'll be 6th through 8th grader, it'll be our Public Services Academy. I think the point of our renovations are we're looking at 21st century learners and using our facilities in different ways. And so traditionally just had corridors with classrooms and students sat in rows. But with the changes in technology and things of that nature and also the way that curriculum is delivered, we're trying to take those corridors and actually make them, you know, spaces where students can learn. And so what you'll see in all of our academies is that we're going to start trying to remove some of these walls within the corridors so these so every space within the facility is a learning space and it provides us flexibility over time as technology continues to change year after year as curriculum continues to change and the standards change we want to make sure this facility is very flexible to where we can adapt with the times as you take a look at not only what we're doing at uh, Lakeside Middle School but at Powell and our STEM Academy you can see that it's a holistic approach that we're taking to the district in the type of environments and learning spaces that we're creating and so we're trying not to focus on one particular school area but look more holistically at all of our campuses including our elementaries, middle and high schools. We believe that taking these, this transitional spaces or these corridor spaces is that what we're doing is you know changing the facility the look of it for one so it kind of energizes kids to learn also provides those little niches and different things where kids may feel more comfortable in certain smaller environments versus a traditional classroom and so as we go back to that flexibility not only is the flexibility within the use of the facility but flexibility in the type of user or learner that's going to be within the facility taking spaces we're trying to you know change the different level of ceiling heights bring in some some different type of lighting also bring in some graphics that are associated with the type of academy and so we're trying to really stimulate the learners not only through the environment and the spaces but also in the graphics that we're doing as well when you look holistically at what we're doing at Little Elm ISD within Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas we're really blessed to have these type of facilities and to be blessed by our constituents that continue to fund these types of things. So we're really appreciative of people, you know, giving importance to education, the facilities, because we feel that the type of facility really helps to educate students, a healthy environment, and it's also good for the community. We're also working on a plant services and transportation facility, which will be located at the athletic complex between uh, the athletic complex and Chavez Elementary School. Our current uh, plant services and transportation facilities were you know, constructed in the early 80s, and so you can only imagine that with the growth that Little Elm ISD has seen in the past you know, five, ten years, that we're in need of some new facilities and some expanded facilities. So we look forward to seeing that start construction this summer and hopefully wrap up sometime in September or October of 2014. And so we look forward to uh, you know, parking our new Little Elm ISD buses there as well. We'll be using some renewable energy or propane, some, some green fuel energy, and working with the town on some interlocal agreements. As we're moving not only from the green environment for our buses and our transportation equipment of that nature, but also for our schools, we're trying to be more energy efficient in our school systems as well. So it's neat to see kind of where Little Elm was at and where we're going and just how we're going to be preparing for our legacy for the future. And so we're just trying to set a good stage and environment and flexibility to where we can kind of grow as the district grows. Not only are we just constructing facilities and buildings, but we also feel like we're constructing building lives, you know, and the lives of students and kind of affecting them not only for, you know, their graduation through our system here, but also for, for their whole life. And so we're kind of excited about not only the building of the facilities, but the building of character in students.